Hello friends, today you will see what all of Veracruz stars look like now versus when they were on the show. You will know their real names and ages. I will show you how they looked then, in 1954, and what's with them now in 2023. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Number 1. Gary Cooper as Benjamin Train One of the key traits that defines Colby's personality is an impulsive nature. He is quick to act on his emotions and often makes decisions without considering the consequences, as evidenced by his decision to take on the notorious outlaw Frank Miller and his gang. However, Colby's impulsiveness is also tempered by his sense of loyalty and duty, which ultimately drives him to join forces with the town marshal in the final showdown against Miller. Benjamin Train is played by Gary Cooper when he was 53 years old. Unfortunately, on May 13, 1961, Cooper died in New York at the age of 60 because his prostate cancer had spread to his lungs and bones. Number 2. Denise Darcel as Countess Marie Duvar With an air of intrigue and an aura of mystery, Countess Marie Duvar is a woman who keeps her secrets close. Throughout the movie, her past remains a mystery and she is a master of disguise and deception. Her manipulative tendencies are balanced by a vulnerable side that she occasionally shows to Kane. Despite her enigmatic persona, her strength of character and unwavering confidence are admirable, even if her motives are not always clear. Countess Marie Duvar played by Denise Darcel when she was 30 years old. Sadly, on December 23, 2011, Darcel died after emergency surgery to repair a ruptured aneurysm. She was 87 years old. Number 3. Cesar Romero as Marquis Henri de Labradere. With his impeccable manners and suave demeanor, Marquis Henri de Labradere cuts a striking figure in the rough and tumble world of the Wild West. The Frenchman's cultured background and impeccable taste stand in stark contrast to the dusty streets and saloons of the frontier town. Labradere is also a man with his own sense of honor and a willingness to play both sides of a conflict to achieve his ultimate goals. Marquis Henri de Labradere, played by Cesar Romero when he was 47 years old. Sadly, on January 1, 1994, Romero died from complications of a blood clot in Santa Monica, California. He was 80 years old. Number 4. Sarah Montiel as Nina From the moment she appears on screen, Nina exudes an alluring aura of mystery and intrigue. Her captivating presence draws the attention of those around her, leaving them wondering what her true intentions are. Despite her cunning nature, Nina is also a fearless risk-taker, unafraid to take on the dangerous challenges of the Wild West. Her shifting loyalties and shadowy motives keep everyone guessing, making her character that is impossible to ignore. Nina, played by Sarah Montiel, when she was 26 years old. Sadly, Montiel died on April 8, 2013, at her home in Madrid at the age of 85, from congestive heart failure. Number 5. George McReady as Emperor Maximilian Emperor Maximilian's entrance on screen is nothing short of majestic, with his regal posture and refined demeanor demanding attention. His aristocratic background sets him apart from the rough cowboys of the Wild West, adding an intriguing dimension to his character that captivates the audience's interest. However, his naive idealism and unwavering belief that his presence in Mexico will usher in positive change and unity spark curiosity and interest in his character. Emperor Maximilian played by George McCready when he was 55 years old. Sadly, on July 2, 1973, McCready died of emphysema and his body was donated to the University of California Los Angeles School of Medicine. He was 73 years old. Number 6. Jack Elam as Tex 
Tex is brought to life by the great Jack Elam. His entrance is nothing short of electric. In the face of danger, Tex's quick thinking and resourcefulness never fail him. He effortlessly navigates the treacherous landscape, all while remaining true to his code of ethics. But it's the glimpses of vulnerability and introspection that truly elevate this character, revealing the complex depths of this iconic cowboy. Tex, played by Jack Elam when he was 34 years old. Sadly, on October 20, 2003, Elam died of congestive heart failure in Ashland, Oregon. He was 82 years old. Number 7. Ernest Borgnine as Donegan Donegan, the leader of a group of Mexican rebels, is a man shrouded in mystery and ambition. His goal is clear, to overthrow the government and establish his own power. But his true intentions and methods are always in question, leaving the audience to wonder whose side he's really on. This performance gives Donegan a quiet intensity and chilling menace, making him a formidable opponent for the heroes. His calculated actions and unwavering determination add to the complexity of the character, leaving the audience unsure of what he'll do next. Donegan played by Ernest Borgnine when he was 37 years old. Sadly, on July 8, 2012, Borgnine died of kidney failure at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles at the age of 95. Number 8. Burt Lancaster as Joe Aaron. Meet Joe Aaron, a sharp-tongued, cunning character with an irresistible charm that allows him to bend others to his will. He's a man unafraid to speak his mind and show his contempt for the law, even if it means getting in trouble. But don't be fooled by his disregard for authority, for Aaron has a personal code of honor that he abides by, and a moral compass that guides his actions. Joe Aaron played by Burt Lancaster when he was 41 years old. Sadly, on October 20th, 1994, Lancaster died at his apartment in Century City, Los Angeles, after having a third heart attack. He was 80 years old. Number 9. James McCallion as Little Bit Amidst the dust and grit of the Wild West, one woman stands tall, Little Bit. Her captivating beauty may turn heads, but it's her razor-sharp intellect and cunning that truly make her a force to be reckoned with. Little Bit's alliances in the film are fluid and ever-changing, leaving audiences questioning her true motives. Is she a loyal ally to the Mexican rebels or the American mercenaries? Or is she simply a survivor, doing whatever it takes to come out on top? Well, it's clear that she's a survivor at heart. Little Bit, played by James McCallion when she was 36 years old. Sadly, McCallion died of a heart attack on July 11, 1991, in Los Angeles, California. She was 72 years old. Number 10. Morris Ankrum as Ramirez Ramirez is a man of principle, with a deep love for his country and a fierce determination to protect it at all costs. He's also a shrewd strategist, able to outmaneuver his enemies and turn their own strengths against them. His ultimate fate is left open to interpretation, but his impact on the film is undeniable. With his imposing presence and unwavering commitment to his cause, it makes him a force to be reckoned with, and his legacy is sure to endure long after the credits have rolled. Ramirez, played by Morris Ankum, when he was 58 years old. Sadly, on September 2, 1964, Ankrum died of trichinosis at the age of 68. We miss the Vera Cruz film cast so much. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. See you on the next video.